Hello to all the horror fans out there on YouTube. While working on my upcoming top 10 list for 1991, I found this film, The Promised of Werewolf Mom. But what I found out is that this film has way more to offer than what I would assume would be a silly B-movie premise. I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is Mom. The mom in question is an elderly lady named Emily, played by Jean Bates. Emily lives all alone as her two children, Clay and Carla, has grown up to become adults with her own families. While Carla lives in another city, Clay is still being a good son by visiting and spending time with her often, providing Emily with some happiness in her otherwise lonely life. Emily has decided that she's going to rent out Clay's old room, to get some more income and more importantly, more company. She finds a suitable occupant in a blind fella named Nestor, played by Brian James. This innocent decision will however not go as Emily expected, as Nestor turns out to be a bloodthirsty creature of the night, better known as a werewolf. Emily. One fight won't kill you. No! As you would expect, Nestor infects poor Emily with his flesh-eating virus, or curse, however you want to put it. And her son Clay has to do whatever he can to prevent her from going out to devour people, while also keeping her safe as regardless if she transforms into a bloodthirsty creature. She is still his mother, and he still loves her. And it's that bond between Clay and Emily that made Mom an interesting film for me. Surprisingly enough, it was that emotional aspect of it that made the film enjoyable, and it actually got to me, and made me wonder why more horror movies don't play out the point of view of a son or daughter, who are unable to do anything to save their parents after something bad or evil happens to them. As someone in the later half of the 30s now, my mother is getting up there in age, and that's scary. Really scary. And it doesn't take an A-list filmmaker to exploit that fear from me within the movie. One reason that this works so well in Mom is that Emily is played by the lovely Jean Bates. She comes across as a great mom, who cares more about other people than herself. She's the wonderful elderly woman we would all love to have as a grandma. Which makes it sad to see that her daughter, Clay's sister Carla, seems to care so little about her, making every conversation revolve around her own life instead. That does however work to make Clay seem like a good son though, and he does sacrifice a lot to try to save his mom, including his work and even his relationship with his pregnant wife. I fell for a guy, and I can see myself going to the same length as he does, to keep his mother away from the authorities, even if she has killed innocent people. Clay's dedication to his mom also makes him a likable character, even though he's played by Mark Thomas Miller, who will always be the party pooper villain Reed in Ski School in my eyes. The standout performance of the film though has to go to Brian James as Nestor. His character, together with the premise, is what might put this into the horror comedy territory, and is awesome to watch. It doesn't quite fit with the emotional punch that this movie evolves into, but still, James was great and I would have liked to see the character of Nestor get his own movie. I need living flesh, right? And I somehow persuaded your mother that I turned her into a flesh eater. Hypnosis, perhaps. Flesh eater? Vampire, werewolf, ghoul, it's all the same. It is uneven at tone, as you would think it would be a horror comedy, but the more it progresses, the more it goes into becoming a serious film that manages to get some heartfelt moments. Perhaps they didn't know what they had here, or that they didn't have the confidence in going further down the route of grabbing your heartstrings. It's this reason why I wouldn't mind seeing someone remake this today, as even though I did enjoy this, there is an unfilled potential here that could be explored more. Some of that might have to do with this being the very first film from screenwriter, editor and director Patrick Rand. He had worked as an editor on several other films before this, most notably Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Mom would turn out to be his only movie as both a writer and director, and he went back to working as an editor for a few more years after this. It's too bad that he didn't create more movies, as I would definitively be interested in seeing more work from him. I also want to mention a duo of special effects artists, Kevin and Sandra McCarthy, as their work here is pretty cool, although sparingly used, but it was enough for me to think it deserved being complimented. Sleep tight, my little boy. Clay, Clay, wake up! Mom might not be the cheesy old woman werewolf film that you would think it is, so don't go into this expecting that, as you will surely be disappointed. 
It is more about the relationship between a mother and son, and that part of it worked quite well, for me at least. It does lose some steam midway through the film, but is able to pick it back up before the final. Scorpion released this on Blu-ray last year, and after seeing this one, I immediately ordered the disc. I would suggest that you do the same if what I've been saying about it sounds like something you would enjoy. Mom was a pleasant surprise to me, and I'm gonna give this a score of 3.5 out of 5. Who else out there has seen this one, and did you like it as much as I did? And do you know of any other good horror movies out there that explores the relationship between parents and children in the same manner as this one? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube, then consider supporting me on Patreon to keep things going, as YouTube sure don't like to keep monetization on horror related content, or just watch my stuff without an ad blocker on and let the ads finish if they aren't several minutes long, as that also helps. Now go seek out mom and come back again in the future for more coverage of forgotten horror films here on Cinema Terror. Thank you.